On this episode of the Daily BE, the perils of not tucking in your dress shirt under a jacket. So do you see this look very often? Wearing a sport coat or, or a suit jacket or a blazer and then a dress shirt underneath it that's not tucked in? I don't see it too often personally, but it is out there. And I think more often than not, I probably see it in celebrities or on TV or YouTube someplace. But if you want to pull it off, I thought let's kind of go into this a little bit, give you some guidance as to how you can do it in an effective way. But first, let's take a step back and just acknowledge that at Bespoke Edge, we don't really recommend this. Uh, I personally feel like this is a very casual look. I don't think it looks good with a sport coat, having a dress shirt untucked. Although now and again, I will do it, but it's usually in the summertime and it's for a very casual kind of look on its own. So that's really the theme is that when you do this, it is going to be a very casual look. I mean, you're not tucking your shirt in. But if you want to do this, two big things I think you should keep in mind. And the first one is that your dress shirt should be a little bit shorter uh, lengthwise. Now, usually when you get a, a, a dress shirt from an um, off the rack store, for instance, it's pretty long. I mean, it goes down to mid thigh sometimes. And the whole point being, of course, that you don't want it to pull out when it is tucked in, right? If you're moving around, you don't want it to kind of come up on the sides. So they're pretty long. But if you have one that's been cut shorter, or you take one of those that you have and you take it to a local tailor, have them kind of cut it off. Now you have a shorter dress shirt that can you know, work a little bit better for something like this. The whole key being is that you don't want that dress shirt to extend beyond the length of your jacket. That'd be really bad. It's gonna kind of bring the eye down too far. It'll mess up the whole proportions. It just won't look good. Second thing is that the fabric of your dress shirt needs to be kind of a casual looking fabric because this whole look is casual, right? So what does that mean? That can mean kind of a linen uh, dress shirt, for instance, in the summertime, like I was alluding to, or kind of a textured uh, cotton, but it won't be your typical go-to uh, white dress shirt or French blue dress shirt that you're wearing when you get dressed up and go out someplace. It should be a little more casual looking, a little bit more textural, I think, and that'll all kind of help to make this work as best as it can. Now, last thing I wanna mention is that with a suit, please don't wear a dress shirt untucked with a suit. There's just no situation where I can think of that that's kind of appropriate. Uh, a suit is inherently dressy and to not tuck in your dress shirt just kind of looks uh, lazy, I think. So, but again, style is um, you know, very different for each, each person. So what do you guys think? Is this look something that uh, you think is good? Does it work? Is it something that you'd wear to your maybe office um, or kind of business casual office environment. I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Again, it's not really something you see too often, but when you do, I think it's a more casual look. And we're all guilty to an extent, I'll admit it, in the summertime with a, a short sleeve dress shirt and something very kind of linen fabric. Uh, I'll leave it untucked sometimes to kind of keep cool. Um, happens now and again. But again, it's a very casual look. So hopes that, hope that helps, guys. Uh, let us know what comments you have. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, we'll see you tomorrow with a new topic. Thanks for your attention.